guys, this is Steve Strickland with Camtech Engineering, and today for Mastercam Monday, we're going to take a step back from walking through the Mastercam 2020 release and focus a little bit on some wireframing basics. And not necessarily a training on wireframing, but just some tips and tricks and a revisit of some concepts you probably haven't seen for a while. So as always, if you have any questions or comments, please leave me a note below. I hope you enjoy the video, and let's go ahead and dig in. All right, guys, going to jump into some wireframing basics here with lines. And to do so, we're going to build a 3x3, three three, and we're going to do so on multiple methods. Um, show you at least three, and, and as everybody knows, with Mastercam, there's multiple ways to do uh, certain functionality. So uh, let's go ahead and jump in and uh, select our line endpoints. And the first prompt that I get is to specify my, my first endpoint, and we're going to do so at the origin here. If I hover over, I'm going to get my snap to. And now to specify my second endpoint, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to set this to be three, and I'm going to make that at 90 degrees. So there we got our first line. And so I'm going to recenter this up a little bit better, and I'm going to select my next endpoint. So I'm going to do so by hovering over the line, and I'll get my snap to. I'm going to go there, and I'm going to plug in my length of three, and I'm going to go with a angle of zero. All right, let's do the same thing with our third line. Hover over. I'm going to make my length three, and angle is 270. All right, and on my last one, I'm going to simply over there and go over to my original starting point and say we're good. So now we got our box there. That's one method. So let's go ahead and uh, back that out. I'm going to show you another way to get to the same thing. So let's go to line endpoints. And now, instead of clicking on my snap to point, I'm going to simply start typing a number. So now I get my fast point box that pops up and this is an XY format. So if I say zero, zero, I get my first point. And now my second point, I want to make zero comma three. So there I have my first line. Now I'm going to specify my, my first endpoint for my for line two. It's going to be zero comma three. And then my second endpoint is going to be three comma three. All right, for my third line, and then back to zero, zero. All right, so there we go. There's my second method of making the box. And now let's go ahead and go to our third method. I'm going to back this out. So now I want to, I'm going to do multi-line. And what multi-line is going to give me is it's automatically going to set the starting point to be at my second point from the previous operation. So let's go ahead and set my first line. I'm going to snap to the origin. And I'm going to, I'm going to use the fast point method and say 0, 3. And once I plug this in, my second line is already set. So it's only prompting me for a second endpoint. And I'm going to do so by doing 3, 3. And now I'm going to set my third line, second endpoint, by doing 3, 0. And then simply doing 0, 0. And so there again, I think we started from one of the more uh, click intensive or uh, multiple operations to get to the same point to where I'm already, my third pass here, this was a a relatively quick way of getting to um, our simple three by three box. Now let's take a look at putting a one inch diameter circle in the middle of our three by three box here. And I'm going to show multiple methods on how to do that. So let's go up to the top in our wireframe tab and select uh, circle center point. And so the first method I want to do is I'm going to go down here, hover over, get my snap to point, then go diagonally and get my snap to point. And you notice there's a red snap to that, pa that, that pops up in the middle, and that's my center point of this diagonal line. And so if I select that, that's gonna be the center of my circle, and I can simply go over here and set my diameter to 1.0, and we're good to go. Say okay, and we have our one inch diameter circle in the middle of the box. I'm gonna back that out, and go back up here again. I'm gonna show the second method. It's going to go here, and I'm going to hold shift 
and select this first point. And what this is gonna be is an offset method to get me my, my center point for my circle. So the first thing I'm gonna do is drag this and simply plug in 1.5. And next one I'm going to do in Y, positive 1.5. So now I have my center point, and now instead of plugging in in the box to the left, my circle center point dialog, I'm gonna simply start typing 1.0. So there's my one inch diameter circle, and two quick and easy ways to pull that off. 